A judge in the Special Criminal Court yesterday described as puzzling a letter written by Independent TD Maureen O'Sullivan on behalf of a real IRA member. Dubliner Donal O'Custola was jailed for five and a half years after his arrest on explosive charges shortly before Britain's Prince Charles visited Ireland last year. In her letter, the TD described him as a fine, intelligent, articulate and hard-working young man. Maureen O'Sullivan told me earlier why she wrote the letter. There are a number of us in the Doyle who have been involved for the past number of years in issues involving prisoners, both in the Republic and in the North. And it has constantly been in support of a conflict-free environment, both inside and outside the prison. And I would also have known Donald's mother. So um, a group of us were asked, would we be prepared to go bail? Um, that was some months ago, and I said yes, and I wrote the letter in the context of that, the bail hearing. The letter, letter reads like mm-hmm. a character reference. Do you know yes. Donal O'Custola? I have met Donal, and uh, what I wrote in the letter, I can stand over. Um, I also made the point in the letter that this is very regrettable, what had happened and the situation that he was in. And it was in no way trying to interfere with judicial process. It was actually asking that um, if some there are charges against somebody, that they should come to court in a speedy and a prompt way. And the concern was about the length of time uh, people are being left on remand without being brought to court. You also wrote that he was, a quote, a fine young man, intelligent, mm-hmm. articulate and hard-working. Yes. And you added in Irish that you were certain that mm-hmm. if he had a new chance, yes. uh, that he would make every effort uh, mm-hmm. to continue on in his life in a positive, kind way. Yes. Now, what made you so certain? I suppose from conversations that I've had with him that I feel that this is uh, something in his life that he regrets and that he would like to put behind him and to be a a good member of society after he finishes his sentence. What do you make of the judge's reference to your letter Mm -hmm. as puzzling? Well, I was actually puzzled that judges would not be more concerned about the length of time that they are leaving people on remand. I mean, at that stage when I wrote the letter and we were prepared to go bail, he had been in jail for over a year without being brought to court. And the letter was written, the bail conditions were going to be very severe, very strict. Um, It was because at that stage he had never any conviction or charges against him. And then, as I said, being on remand for for so long. The judge also said she could only surmise that the content uh, mm-hmm. in the testimony, this is your letter, yes. uh, came about in circumstances where, where the letter writer, this is you, mm-hmm. was unaware of Dunlough Cushla's decision to plead guilty. Mm-hmm. And she went on to say that among the aggravating factors was his use of his intellectual abilities mm-hmm. and educational skills for nefarious ends. Now, mm-hmm. were you aware of the mm-hmm. fact that this letter wasn't just used when the issue of bail came up but was going to be used yesterday when he was sentenced? No, I wasn't aware of that. I wrote the letter in terms of the hearing, the bail hearing. But it's really um, very disturbing that it's being taken as an endorsement of violence and the use of physical force because anybody who knows me and the work that I do would be very clear that there is no way that I would endorse the use of physical force. What's your reaction to what the judge said about you and your letter? Well, I think the judge has taken a major leap in her surmising. In what way? She has put two and two together and come up with 140 and not four. As I said, I do not endorse the use of physical force. She says that the puzzling nature of the letter, in her mind, uh, seemed to connect with the fact that... um, you appear to be unaware that Donal Akushla was pleading guilty. Did, were absolutely. you aware when you wrote it that he was going to plead guilty to these ch- no, very serious charges? Ab- no, absolutely not. At that stage, there had been nothing in nothing in court, nothing at all um, as to the charge. Well, the, the charges. So it was written, as I said, in the context of the application for bail, and it was really to highlight why are people being left on remand for so long. Do you have any regrets about anything you wrote in the letter or the fact of writing it at all? It was the type of letter that I would have written about other people, other young people who got in trouble with the law, and I would have stated in letters what I could stand over. And that is in no way whatsoever condoning or excusing or supporting what he has pleaded guilty to. 
And that's Independent TD Maureen O'Sullivan speaking to me earlier.